who went to Australia, uh, Dr. Mahinda Padagama, who was one of the brilliant students, uh, Vira Katya Central produced way back in the early 80s, who is well known, renowned physicist uh, who looks after the technological science. And sometimes, uh, you know, when you throw some of the issues to these three gentlemen, uh, they come up with some fantastic solutions. Uh, all three of them, I can assure you, are people who will never look for cheap uh, rewards, cheap recognition. They also want to do something. So I just want to take that back to the TRC and tell them that you expect a lot out of the TRC. Obviously, TRC has to do a lot. I have had very bad experiences with the TRC myself because I was also part of the ICT agency uh, a couple of years ago uh, and very much into developing uh, the infrastructure for the government uh, as, you call, as you know what is called e-government uh, initiatives uh, but in the process I found that the TRC was standing in the way of the ICTA and the ICTA had a very valuable project to provide uh, connectivity those areas where there is no connectivity. It just says, for instance, SLT will not go to a place if it is not commercially viable. So the uh, ICT agency through the Sri Lanka project was prepared to give a subsidy to the, to the uh, provider, telecom provider, who would provide the services to make that shortfall uh, into a uh, non-loss making kind of situation. So, but the DRC simply did not agree. Uh, they never saw the merit of it. I think now we have sorted, sorted that out. Uh, so there are many things that we could do. And, and I, I take my word, I will certainly go into this study. The next issue that I like to ask you for help is this creation of uh, at least, pardon me for saying this, at least 325 villages. Because we have 325 uh, divisional secretaries divisions in this country, the smallest administrative unit. So at least if we can select one village, per divisional secretary's division. Uh, I think one can walk us through because you have gone through the whole bill. Maybe there are things that you would want to do, which you have done. Uh, learning from the mistakes. We would like to learn from you. Also maybe uh, let the Horizon Lanka be the training ground for those 325 animators or you know, champions that we are going to find. We need 325 champions, no issue. But you could probably be the champion of champions and <laughs> help us through uh, so that uh, in the next five years. I'm sitting, I don't want to set targets uh, which are impossible because I don't want to come and tell you here, uh, well, within one year, we will know that's not possible. So I need to find people, I need to find resources. Resources is not a problem actually. There are many people who would like to help. I was just talking to Sri and we suddenly realized, well, if we address the corporate sector together, that we are convinced that this is an opportunity that can come through. Uh, there will be a number of uh, large companies which will help us to make uh, 325 villages. But the issue is, again, Chanakar is a valid issue. We have to make it sustainable. How do we make it sustainable? So those are some of the things that we may sit down uh, somewhere and start talking about. Maybe uh, through email, we might uh, exchange notes and come to some kind of understanding. But cannot wait for long. Uh, five years is also a longer period uh, in, in, uh, in technology development. But that's how it is, but we will try and do it earlier. We have set our uh, sights on creating 1,000 nanosaras in this country, which was the brainchild of uh, President Rajapaksa. When he told me this in 2004, when he was the Prime Minister, uh, that his desire was to see that rural children are as good as or even better equipped uh, than the children in Kalambu, because he is also from a rural area. He comes from the deep south. Uh, we have seen, we have gone through the difficulties of life. We have seen children, brilliant children, not being able to make it because they couldn't uh, buy the books that uh, they had to buy to go to school. Government has stepped in, uh, provided school books free, uh, uniforms free. This has also created uh, almost uh, universal enrollment today, which is a very nice thing to see that every child who is born in Sri Lanka goes to a school. Uh, there are 9,800 schools, but of those schools, how many can we be proud of? So we need to have uh, schools like uh, what we have in Mahavirachya. We have a number of schools, one in Katamala, Egypt, in the Kutnagar district. So many places that we can talk about. But these are uh, just one-off individual efforts. You have a Vaninaya, there might be a Horizon Lanka. 
you have another Tilakaratna, you might have uh, a Chattavala or whatever, you know, number of places like this. But if you don't have these people, you don't have. So there is something wrong in the system. That is, in my opinion, the attitude that we have. We don't like to uh, see others doing better than we do. We don't like to see someone uh, prospering. We don't like to see the neighbor doing better than I do. So these are some of the things that somehow crept into this uh, nation. Very unfortunate. This is not what Sri Lanka was. I am an ardent fan of uh, reading history, uh, reading what Sri Lanka used to be, what our people had to do, their culture. If you just go to Andhra none of these things would have been possible if not for the collective team spirit that people had. You could have never faced that kind of huge uh, scoopers had not there been some kind of collective uh, team spirit supporting each other but working under my, my banner. You had the king and the king mustered all the resources to get things done for his people. So I think there is uh, that kind of spirit creeping in today. People are coming together, people are rallying around, uh, they want to see Sri Lanka taking off. We should have taken off 25 years ago but we have an unfortunate uh, ethnic issue which we need to resolve which the government is hell-bent on doing, I can assure you that we will do the best that we can. We have got the people into place, we have the best people who will do the best for our country. So we will somehow make sure that that part of it is sorted out. And once that is done, this is going to be heaven. I don't think anyone would want to leave Sri Lanka. I didn't want to leave abroad, to tell you the truth. I was offered many times, uh, the latest was in 1998, when I went to the United States for a one-year fellowship to Pennsylvania State University. My professor said, uh, why don't you stay back? I just asked him, and do what? He said, start teaching. I will give you a teaching point. Uh, and then also do your PhD here. Uh, well, that was a very lucrative uh, uh, offer. But I said, if I don't go back, the next man can't come. There was another guy in Sri Lanka with another fellowship, uh, the same fellowship, uh, to come to United States. And United States would have blacklisted Sri Lanka if I didn't come. So those are the things that one has to think of. So I simply said, thank you very much. Uh, I want to get back. Uh, then he said, well, I had a good job, so I don't need to worry about it. I was the additional second to the Prime Minister then. So I thought I would come back and contribute whatever I can. So those are the thoughts that have brought us back to Sri Lanka. And I never want to leave Sri Lanka. want to make sure that this is a place that we can be proud of. So I think uh, the children that I saw today, Sunil was telling me, uh, I wouldn't see that kind of children in Kalam, tell you the truth. They are supposed to be uh, the best schools, best schools within ports, I don't know how best they are, but they are supposed to be best schools, because they have a lot of facilities. Royal College is 8,000 students, uh, far too much for a school, and probably uh, 150 computers for so, <coughs> children to uh, uh, learn. Okay, but Per, per capita it might not be enough, but I think uh, do they make the best use of it? Most of the children must be having computers at home, so they might not uh, make use of it. But one computer in school at Taksila Mahavidyanil, children will make best use of it. So we have to make sure that we go and put our resources where they should be. Not put another computer lab in Royal College because it's a big place and then you can go and have a big opening ceremony and then of course, you know, it will be splashed across uh, headlines. No, that's not what we should be doing. We won't do that. We have a fantastic uh, program in the Mahindra Tintan called Gamana which is to ensure that the village is developed in a total sense. Had I known or had Mr. Rajapaksa known about e-village concept, he would have definitely put it into Mahindra Tintan, I am sure. But now that he, you have done it, uh, it doesn't have to be uh, in that book, but we can always copy, we can always work with you. Uh, I don't want to uh, do something different, I want to learn from this and then do it the way it has come through. This is not top driven, this is bottom driven. That is why it's success. So I think with those words, uh, I generally don't talk so much.